Hello there, everyone. This is Mark Three, and welcome back to the snow-covered ruins of Industries of Titan, where we care about our people forever and ever. Ignore the pollution and all that jazz. If people are being healed, there's little hearts that float around. Hmm, I, I didn't notice that. It's my first time spotting it. Okay. First, welcome back. Um, there was also something I, amusing I came across. You know how, like, um, hey, we gave you a park. Whoops, it's in the pollution zone. Lol. Oh, well, there it is. You know how it's flickering like that? I found something amusing just before starting this recording um, in the codex. <laughs> so, right. No expense spared, all that jazz, you know, look at it, it's the latest, greatest park for the welfare of our employees forever and ever. Uh, codex, buildings, every building has its own little thingy, by the way. Oh, um, factory fire sample room for devices, and they can be connected to other factories for additional floor space. Some of the citizens may not like their habitat pods being on the factory floor, noisy and smelly are the major complaints, but many are quite attached to their little pods. Goes on like that. Oh anyway, yeah, park. Natural beauty is not what Titan's known for, but oh boy, can it provide artificial beauty like you've never seen. Each holographic tree is modelled after an Earth-based species, and the designers put a lot of effort into making every single leaf unique. A shame the cheap and often faulty projectors will never show that insanely detailed work. Insanely detailed work, right? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Cheap and often <laughs> That's why it's flickering. They're, it's deliberately a faulty public service. That's why it looks like that. <laughs> they, they go back and forth like that. Oh dear, we, we really care, don't we? Mm. Oh well. Let's see, have we got a new tech we want to be working on? We'll check real quick. Uh, more accounts of storage. Fire damage reduced. Never been a problem. Pollution from fire. Again, not really been an issue. In the good books, max influence cap. Mm, an extra 50 max influence cap would be quite nice. So that's how that, actually, yeah. Automated light shield, hands down. Take 10 minutes, but hey, there we go. Right. Okay, here we are back. So, we do have um, a couple of comments from last time. Let's get on those real quick. Uh, we got Happy Afer and, and Clint commenting. So, Happy Afer zero at first. Yes, that fight was much better the first. Oh, it was so much better. Fighting 2v1 makes a big difference, just as I expected. I'm glad they put that in, because before they put that in, physically the ships could not fight in multiples. It was just what that one-on-one -on -one battle space, and other ships just couldn't get involved. So that's great. Um, about the pollution zone, you may want to chain those fans together. Actually, speaking of fans, yeah, I better pause. Just I pay one and a half thousand credits in wages. My employees only get the best, I suppose. Also, claim and how are we doing for resources? We need artifacts more, so just get artifacts it. We are kind of at the stage now where artifacts are the thing we really need quote-unquote. So we start to get um, those going a lot better. So, um, pollution, you may want to chain those fans to get pollution actually out of the housing districts. Uh, also get you closer to that fan number of victory condition. And the areas are just starting to get yellowish as well. I hope you find that air scrubber tech soon. It looks like you need it. I find you always need the air scrubber at some point if you care at all about your people staying alive. I care because I have to pay to replace them. Um, but also, if you attach roads for efficient transportation of the waste that the residential buildings generate, then it actually... Um, the roads passively generate pollution as well as they are used. So that's why pollution like starts to spread along any area you've connected with those roads, because the pollutes... They run dirty. Very dirty. The trucks are just very dirty things. Speaking of, I am maxed out, yes. Oh, no, no. I've got some more. I think I want to get a blueprint, though, if I 
can because oh that oh oh they changed it back again <sighs> you'd think i'd have noticed because it's right there right so for a while a couple of a couple of versions ago the air purifier was actually locked in the tech web and it looks like it's been moved back again into the basic available buildings which is great i just didn't realize but yeah i want to use the fans i need that fan at victory condition because there's several of them i mean look at that I need 10 fans fans that, individual fans are like um only 200 pop we've got tons of resources now we just need more workers really to get that working and more power we need to scale up basically that's our next thing scaling up hard just wondering what else we want uh depots would be nice but we got the producers so we can actually kind of hold off on that a little bit that's what i want the conversion center i want it for a very good reason don't worry and Council Obelisk to improve generation of influence. That would also be quite nice as well, actually. So let's grab that. Line up a couple of trucks. And then we're done until the end of the next workday. Yes. So, we're going to try and jump forward as fast as we can. Because we do need to catch up. We're, what, two when our rival is at... Uh, currently at six they've receded a bit more ah because they've got some about storage their victory conditions seem to be easier than mine hmm. oh how dare they have easier victories than mine anyway yeah just need to scale everything as fast as possible i've got the resources starting to come in i just need the people and the power Anyway, moving on. Don't worry, Clint. I'll get to your comment in a little bit, because we'll probably have a combat in this episode. Either that or I'll... I'll share your comment halfway through. Let's get to work. It's kind of a measure of how desperate I am from isotopes right now. I mean, I've got the mine going. But... Getting them moved around is also proving a bit of an issue. I've actually been ordering the... Uh, um, freighters, I'm just buying down any that have isotopes, prioritizing over big population numbers. Just, just, to, just to be sure, just to be sure. Because I am having a few issues regarding population. Hmm. Not population, sorry. I'm getting distracted. Right. I'm having a few issues just focusing through a little bit because isotope, I had barely any. Though I had a buttload of, um, basic minerals. So I actually flogged a whole bunch off to the council just to get some influence. You know, it seemed good. It uh, got me some. Got my um, stockpile down a little bit. I'm still waiting for this to get cleaned out. But this is level 3 of the tower. I've just fitted it with more conversion capsules, so they're all good. But the reason um, I know I told this in one of my older videos, because I like to do it. The reason I unlock conversion center is because now I can click outside and that can convert, but that includes everyone inside here as well. So I can use this to fill all of these without having to go back into the headquarters building. So it's quite nice. And I have 23 conversion slots. I've only got 14 artifacts, though, and I'm out of influence. So I do need to do something about some of that. But I am just going to go ahead and... Whip up another bunch of workers just to help power through some more of this because that's the other limiting factor, not just resources. Number of workers. Also, I'm having a bit of power trouble, so I'm building a bunch more power plants and upgrading some power plants as well. But I'm waiting for the people to become free to actually go and sort that out. You guys are having trouble because everything's going a bit messed up. They've even got someone prioritizing moving isotopes. And that's not happening much. Kind of need to dial in and figure out what's going on there. Need to find my isotope production. Yeah, there's space for it to move into. Who knows what's going on there? This thing's 
on, right? Is it? Oh, okay, here we go. Why do I have to record my check-ins anyway? A call should be good. Whatever. Dear flippin' diary, then. Pesh with the check-in. Doctor's orders. I'm on the shuttle to Titan now to meet my new supervisor, and the guy next to me smells damn awful. <laughs> Guess I'm a proper working woman now, huh? Got myself a little commuting story and everything, heading to my straight and narrow job, hauling freight for some big corp. You know, I kind of figured I'd spend the rest of my life in that cell, going for a little bit of tax fraud. It's wild that I'm here doing it by the book. The reps at the Foundation seemed legit, but sponsored rehab and job placements for ex-cons seems too good to be true. I guess we'll see. I know the deal about getting your hopes up, but I'll admit it. I want this to turn out right. Hmm. So apparently we have an ex-con hauling freight around for us. Good to know. I do like these little audio logs. They're also logged in the codex, by the way, so I can go back to find them whenever I want. Take those, take those, you're running. Oh, apparently I'm low on fuel now. Oops. And because of the fuel, my power's fluctuating quite a bit. I actually need those reserve silos and things. In fact, where's Z thing? No, that's pollution. I want Z thing. Um, there's a good bit over here actually. I could probably use. Don't press escape. Just do that. Um, there's a little bit out there. Is it? No, wait. Fuel silos don't need power. Oh, I can put that there wherever. And there is looking pretty tasty, actually. Go in, break the rocks, and use that as another extraction site. Perfect. At least we're getting some more resources coming in. Also, I've got a fan now clearing the um, the park, but as a result, pollution is now getting condensed onto one of my residential blocks instead. My pause is I can't seem to catch a break. Well, I admit it, I've gone back to the bad old days, and I'm kind of stiffing my employees just a tad. Um, I just spent basically all my reserve, so I'm not going to be able to pay their full wages, so that means I won't be able to recruit many more. There we go, just got a whole bunch more. Um, as soon as this next payday goes around. But that's because I decided to invest the money elsewhere. I'm not going to pay my workers, failed to pay, but got, 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 got. Yes, I spent like 3k getting the last three blueprints that I don't have yet. So I've got the air purifier and both the storage buildings, energy depots and fuel silos. Most important, of course, is the air purifier, which I'm planning to slot in just over here. I do have the power reserves. I don't have the fuel, but I'm going to plan to make this a double stack one straight away. I'm not sure. Oh. Actually, air purifier boosts habitability. Let's put it that way instead, so it's a bit closer to more, more residential stuff. Yeah, that sounds nice. How many can I afford? I can afford plenty. Click, click. Yep. Um, I, um, I've not got the f fuel thing down there just yet, but as soon as this gets demolished, you can see a worker going to it now. Good boy. As soon as it gets demolished, I'm going to start installing another fuel absorption building. I keep losing track of things at the random times. Um, fuel turbines. I also purchased a slot up here. Good, that has been cleared. So another fuel turbine up this way. There's not much zethane around there, must admit. So in fact... Um, a single one there and a single one there probably be more useful. And I'm also starting to generally try to build two large structures at once. So we've got some issues. As you can see, this one's out of power. So I'm going to upgrade it. That's why I want the silos thing. So I actually have reserve capability. 
uh, which I don't have. I've also been starting to get some spaces for roads, so planning some expansion. You can see I told you I was going to start expanding a little bit. And I'm going to start doing some things like this as well. So I'm going to connect these two. And that's where I'm going to start dumping all my tier 1... No, not tier 1. Tier 3 minerals. So I'll have some excess storage space for all the minerals I'm gathering. I'm gathering so many minerals, even though I'm not mining the mineral patch. It's kind of silly. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. And yeah, this is another louder music segment going on right now. Ooh, I can afford to get the level 3 smoke tank. More pollution. Yay. Just what we need. There we go. You know you're serious about getting isotopes when you have a full-fledged tier 3 double-linked mine on it. I don't know why I said double-linked. It's a connected, but it sounded more impressive to say double-linked. It certainly had a larger count of letters in it. This place is also coming up to speed. We are still low on fuel, though slightly more concerning. We're also low on power. Now that said, because we're low on fuel, this particular power generator is actually off at the moment. Still need more fuel. Not entirely sure how I'm going to get it. But um, I guess the only way is going to be to expand, isn't it? Try and find somewhere else. We are due for another raid pretty soon, though, so shouldn't be too long before we get some more combat going. Air pollution is okay. It's not doing anything, but I am going to install another industrial fan. I mean, these guys cost 16 power a pop. Now that said, I don't have to have them running, do I? I don't think I do. More citizens dying. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'll get there eventually. Just you watch. And yeah, I'm taking these because I'm going to put fuel storage all over there. Fuel storage is slightly explosive if it gets damaged. So I don't want it to be right in the middle of my city where I usually put it. And yes, in all fairness, I do usually put it in the middle of my city. Hey, I'm not always a safe um, city planner. Let's put it that way. I just got two victory points, which is good. I've got a third residential going up, though when I merge these four residentials down into two, is that going to be... Hmm, that might actually stop it from counting. That said though, as soon as this boy gets upgraded, we're going to find out if what I suspect is going to be true. To get the uh, victory points, I need to have not just built the industrial fans. I need to actually have them powered and staffed, I think, as well. Because it says I've only got two, though there's only two over there, blowing very, very helpfully into the winds of a blizzard. And this third one over here is just um, not counted, even though it's not active. I also looked, and it's like, it's not a victory condition that you can lock off, like this one here. It locks when you cleared out 13 resource patches. This one is not like that. I've retained 30 employees. Have residential buildings, 4 out of 3. Yeah, so when I merge those, it's probably going to count as one building rather than two. And that doesn't count, even though it's actually now powered. It needs to be powered and staffed. Darn. That does mean, though, I can just stock up a bunch of fans somewhere and then just turn them on when the I want the victory points. They took our homes. They took our families. We'll take the same from you. I'm fairly sure you won't. So yeah, we've got our lovely neighbours coming in. But here we go. We've got, it uh, looks like two incoming ships again. That's good. Now I just have to move out to be ready to intercept. And this is where we get to Clint's comment. I did mention that earlier. Because it's actually quite specifically combat related. So that ship is... Right there, yep. Ooh. I believe that's either a medium or a large. I think that's a large one. I, I need more ships. <laughs> then again, my ships are overgunned, so I, even if it is a large, I have just as much firepower. I'm just a lot weaker. Okay. Um, I 
Let's actually dogpile it real quick, like intercept with everything because I want that ship to die. Because the other one is actually coming from... The other one's all the way out here, so I might have time to actually kill it before the other one turns up. Anyway, yeah. Um, Clint, your comment read. Great vid, keep the rocks flying. Yes, I'm going to be throwing rocks at this guy. That's technically what a gun does, isn't it? Like um, a ballistic gun. It's de technically fi firing just rocks. Yes, intercept please, thank you. There we go. Okay, let's see. Um, the info on the four webs you have as you now. Yes, I am a math nerd. I hope this helps. <laughs> Been there, done that. I have done such calculations before. Look how much empty space they've got in their ship. What are, what are those? Oh, large relays. Right. Twin large Gatlings. Six crew, no health pods. Hmm. Okay. No health pods means that I, their crew are going to stay on station, so I can't disable their guns that way. What I can do is um, knock out the power. So I'll tell you to go there. No, let, let's spread it. Spread out the damage. Oh hi. The technology for every solution, Kirk solutions. Is this the best they could come up with? This is word sludge. I've seen prettier parking tickets. Hey, Annika. Yeah, hey, hey. Uh, tell the kids that are marketing to go home early. Because if they're not going to work, then they can slack off at home. No, I'm not paying them for it. Are you joking? <laughs> when did you get funny? Oh, I like it. Keep it up. Now, Scram, unlike some people, I got stuff to do. Like squeezing that sweaty little wart. Ball rig for my investment money. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, wait a second. Yeah, 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 get back here. Ballrick did say he was dropping by, right? Cool, 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 cool. Okay, uh, so clear my schedule for the rest of today, then I'm gonna give this guy a full order of the old Kirk charm. <laughs> Those credits are all mine, baby. Uh, I have concerns about this guy. <laughs> okay. So I'm just spreading my fire to help out, but um, what I'm also doing is... Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm probably going to kill this guy by crewing it out. Um, I mean, look, it's got 280 hit points. I think that's a medium ship, actually. Yeah. No, wait, maybe it's a small. I'm not, I'm not too sure. It's either a, a big small or a small medium. <laughs> so there we go. Right. Um... Yeah, don't worry about crunching the numbers and stuff. I mean, I've done that on lots of times on so many games, I've never bothered to keep track of it. So, yeah. So, here we go. Um, Clint has calculated how fast the weapons fire, the damage they do, converted to DPS, how big the footprint of the weapons are, and the damage per cell of my available weaponry. So, he's not done it for the what the weapons the enemy's got. I'm going to let the combat go in the background for this. He has no shields. Oh dear. Also, he's got big weapons, so they fire more slowly. That's the lasers. Uh, yeah, it looks like it, yeah, it took the weapons out of action as well. <laughs> oh, it looks like it doesn't hit every tile within the range, but it hits most of them. Oops, someone's firing back. Okay. Right, so here we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That means. What's your speed? Target shape, accuracy, like that. Yeah, okay. So. I'm going to give you a quick number here. So the small laser is nine speed, two damage. All that stuff. Um, though damage per cell is pretty consistent in terms of uh, what it does. Sorry, damage per cell per second, or just damage per cell, which is just damage every it fires. Small damage is 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.
the uh, medium laser is 0.67 and then both the large laser and the gatling are tied at 0.86 damage per cell weapon used so i found that kind of interesting shame that this guy's getting double teamed a little bit but i think i'll keep maintain fire on here i mean duncan line does have vital systems covered by energy shielding and does have a medical pod for healing so that should help it survive fairly well. Okay. Um, interesting enough, damage per cell per second. I think it's a large laser at the end there because Clint's in his impromptu table in the comments. Oh, jeez. Another big hit. That other ship is doing some damage to Drunken Lion. Yeah, Drunken Lion's getting a bit battered. Uh... I think the, drunk, the large laser is slightly less DPS per cell per second, but it's basically the same. The main difference is the shape and the attack area. Oh, drunken lines getting clobbered. I think I need some more ships, ideally. Because this is, um, they're focusing down one of Mark. No. One of them's been basically knocked out. The other one's just passively trying to absorb hits. I just have to hope that the thing, one of them goes down before Drunken Lion gets too badly damaged. Or lose crew members. It shouldn't lose crew members because it's got the medical part to help with that. Oh, they've only got one crew left. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Target down. Okay. And now I just have to reprioritize the targeting. <laughs> what do you got? You got. Um, I knew you were fine too quickly to have large. You've got mediums, haven't you? Yeah, medium gatlings. Again, only two. That's okay. Do you have a medical pod? You do not have a medical pod. Okay, let's just do the same again. Let's just focus down the place we can guarantee where the crew is going to be. Drunken Lion's a bit battered. But I will give orders as well. And I'll just have it do the same thing. Keep the weaponry offline. And then we don't have to worry about anything else, though. Drunken Line it has also been kind of bashed in as well. I mean, this is why we want the auto shields and bigger ships. Small ship, four guns. Very nice, but the puzzle of putting the interior together is actually kind of hard. I think, yeah, I'll, I'll just build a whole bunch of fans and then power them up when I want the victory points. I think that's probably the best way to handle that. I mean, yeah, I've got two there now because I've got that third one active, but I don't need more than that. Drunken line though, is kind of... Yeah. My ships aren't that good at absorbing damage. Small ships in general aren't. <clears throat> Mine are unusually vulnerable. But once we've got the enemy's weapons locked down, we should be good. Yeah, they're almost out of crew. They're going to die. Drunken Lion, though. Look at the damage this thing's taken. It's burning. The moment they man one of their guns, they're going to get killed. Actually, is there another crew member? No, there isn't. There's only the one. Oh, they've got a medical pod. Target the medical pod. Knock that out, Commission. That's why they've, they're lasting, because they've got that, though they... I think, I think they've died to the hole. my words. <laughs> I will destroy you next time, Founder. Uh, I'm fairly sure you won't, because I'm actually going to... Make sure I actually get some. I think I'm gonna. I want to get some more ships. I need to get more power. Did I never crew you? Really? Let's get you online. But basically, I'd need to get more stuff anyway. Also, I really need to get more. Um, more favor from the council because I flat out need to do that. That I need to expand faster. The only way to do that is obelisk, which actually increases habitation nearby. I didn't know they did that. Then again, last time I seriously played was before a lot of the habitation stuff came in for population management. Do you have more space for more people then? Come on down. 
It's all happy and healthy in here. Actually, let me double check. Is the park healthy? The park is healthy. It's green. Yay. Help. It is very healthy down here. I will also upgrade the air purifier on this junction because that is good. And build spare fans all over the darn place. <laughs> also, yeah, I've got that space for storing fuel now. Look at that, though. Plus 120 fuel, plus 116 energy. I am doing great in terms of my logistical supplies. Well, that's no wonder I've been having trouble. Um, I may have 39 employees, but I've just looked and I've only got 26 actually available. Because 26 have been full-time jobs. So... That's only like 13 workers, and I was assigning more to clean up to try and get that stuff done. But the fact is that I, because I had some people locked up in other jobs, they were just not able to do much. I need more workers ASAP. <laughs> in fact, I think because it's we're in between things, I will actually dump out my ships just to get some more workers out there. That's another 12 workers I can bring into full force because I need some to get on top of everything. That, that's why everything's been deteriorating. That's why it's been feeling a bit sluggish trying to get stuff done. Uh, because I just don't have the peoples. 21 citizens. Yes. Gimme. Mm. 21 new victims. Uh, I mean, valued residents. Yeah, that's... <laughs> uh, um, I'm really embracing the, the dream of Titan, aren't I? Oh, well, at least this means that people will be getting around a bit more. More construction will be done. And we'll start getting on top of the cleaning up as well, because in particular, the isotope factory is struggling because it's just jammed full of fuel. Also, I never did demolish these. Backspace. I just flat out don't need this stuff in here anymore. I should go around and make sure there's not any more I've got lying around. Um, I would like to move those waste containers, but I know I don't have the space for it. Yep, there's still some in here too. There we go, that should clear up some space. And with the space these power stations are taken out, I could install in some more processing racks in there as well. And I guess the headquarters bottom floor is still covered in dirt. Kinda? Let's go to these. Can't get rid of more of that because it fills things up. There we go. Another citizen died. Yeah. Well, pollution is going down, but it's not there yet. I'm actually running a bit short on tier 1 minerals, but I have a plan for that one. I'm going to put down a mine. And I'm not going to mine the mineral patch. I'm going to mine all these because remember I've got another objective, which is to mine out a bunch of mineral patches. So I put mine here, it's going to be a tier 1, but if I cl claim a mineral patch nearby, then it will automatically start mining it. And it's right next to the mineral processing facility as well, so they, they'll just have to walk over here and then back again. Really short trip. Really easy to do, in theory. But I want to get that done sooner rather than later because I want to get more shipyards. And I'm thinking of slotting some in here. If I put one there, then I can roll along there. And I can have another one, like... Actually, no. Can't quite fit it in where I want to. You're powering that. I can fit one here. And fit one here. That might be the way to do it. Either way, I need to clear out a whole bunch of mineral patches. And mine is a very effective way to do that. If I claim it... Oh look! The mine is suddenly working on it. And it's only using one worker to do it as well. So that means I can just use the influence I'm getting because I've got uh, these obelisks going up. Edifices to the... to the almighty... Um, omniscience of our corporate overlords. How much power do I have? 31. 
Uh, I need more power, but I was also clearing up some space around here for more power as well. And you can connect. I have the fuel through, I've still got 98 fuel. That's another reason I need more workers on the ground, just like get everything flowing around a bit more smoothly. Looks like they're actually starting to clear out the factory. The boxes are disappearing. Do another work over there, help clear out more pollution. It's all working. And that's the best and the worst that we can say about it. It's all working. There we go. But yeah, I'm also at the end of my time pretty much unfortunately. So yeah, you're storing like tier one and tier three minerals. Tier two I don't want. So the only tier two storage I'm planning to have is like in the middle processor. So limited storage for tier two. Tier ones can be pulled out of this and replaced with tier threes as needed, but this is like my bulk storage facility. Then these two are going to be a new power plant because my other three power plants are maxed out. Fuel reserve though is ten thousand compared to four hundred energy. I need I need battery storage, kind of urgently, because if if my power plants go down for whatever reason, then I'm not going to have anything to do with it, am I? Let's claim that one, that one. Let's fob off another bunch of tier 1 minerals to you. Very nice. Spend 50 tier 1 minerals, get a bunch of favour. And that'll let me claim that, and then the mine will work quite happily on that. Though actually, in opening up all my job positions, I take, did take away everyone from empty mines. Let's put three workers on that, just to make sure all the mines are being emptied out of on a rapid pace. Just so that this one can keep ticking away and extracting. It's got a long way to go. Actually, that could benefit from having more workers and from being upgraded. Well, when I scrap it, I'll get all the minerals back anyway, so it's fine. We will get more mines and we will get it all sorted out. Oh, if a mine's working in the middle of patch, you can't actually send a worker. I was going to see if I could send a worker in just to increase the rate of depletion. I can't. So the mine will just do the job for me. It'll get there. It'll just take its time. There we go. <laughs> but yes, I need more workers. Six. That's that. Um... I also wanted more resources because I need 60 to claim these artifact packs and they have a whole bunch of resources in one place but uh, they're expensive to do. You're doing alright. Let's go ahead and boost you to level 2. Let's also start boosting the storage up as well because why not? More storage, more more explosion when it gets damaged but <laughs> got to end it there unfortunately. So this has been I'm Mark 3. Thank you all very much for watching. hope you guys are enjoying the show. Um, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps out me, it helps out the channel, it gives me those virtual pad packs I oh so crave. And um, actually that is a little bit of exciting news. I recently passed the 900 subscriber mark for the first time. Hmm, I just want to say thank you all very much. Um, if you want me to do some kind of uh, subscriber special or something, please just feel free to let me know. But uh, yes. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care, one and all. And remember, move to Titan. I will serve you loyally as your overlord and colony manager. You will achieve your dreams under my careful, nurturing direction. Sign up at your local Titan recruitment center today.
My supervisor, yeah, won't even look me in the damn eye when he talks to me. They're all like that when they hear about my record. It's like I'm some kind of lab experiment or just some hanger-on. The training's been slow too, almost non-existent. But hey, this is the most I have ever been paid, and it's keeping me out of prison. So, I'll keep my mouth shut. A job's a job. Hmm. So it's better and worse than she thought. She has a record, and basically people like shun her when they hear she's got a record. But she is making decent money, and she's not in prison. So she's actually trying to go straight. Good for her. Yeah, that popped up right before I finished, um, finished and stopped recording, so uh, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? I'm sucker for lore. I really am. <laughs> 